Some of you know how much I love coriander leaves and that most of my recipes end with a garnish of chopped coriander. Today my extreme love for coriander made me upload a recipe where my beloved coriander is the star of the show. Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bhumbi. And today it is all about chicken and the green beauty coriander. Let's start with a blender work. Ginger, garlic, and a serrano pepper with all seeds taken out. You can also use green chilies in place of serrano. Add 4 tablespoons of water and blend to a smooth paste. I didn't bother to rinse my blender jar as there is nothing wrong if a little remnant of ginger and garlic is there. And the star of the show enter the blender jar. And this time it's not just a little amount of coriander but in abundance. And I used a whole big bunch of coriander leaves along with the stalks. Just a splash of water and then the blender goes on into making a fine green paste. And if you're wondering what's that, that's my pup who gets scared by the loud noise of blenders and vacuum cleaners. He just rushes up to the counter whenever my blender is on and jumps like a kangaroo. Next coming to marinating the chicken, I am using boneless skinless chicken thighs today. You can even use bone in chicken. Add the ginger garlic paste and 4 tablespoons of yogurt which I have stirred very well with a spoon to get a smooth consistency. Guys, I never use boneless chicken breast for my curries. Chicken breast is white meat and since curries take a longer time to cook, the white meat gets fibrous and tough and it seems to me that I am having shoestrings and we are not making a shoestring curry today. Okay, mix and allow it to marinate for a minimum of 30 minutes. 3 tablespoons of oil go into the pan over medium high heat. Once the oil turns hot, add finely chopped onions along with just a sprinkle of salt. Sometimes I get comments like, Bumbi, why do you add salt so many times? Your curry must be way too salty. The thing is that I add salt in different stages of the cooking process so that each level gets well seasoned and there is science behind that. I add just a sprinkle to my onions, then a little pinch of salt if tomatoes are there. A sprinkle goes in when I am sautéing the veggies and so on. Now if you are a beginner, measure out the salt in a small container and add a sprinkle from there. Guys, a sprinkle doesn't mean I am adding a good heaped teaspoonful of salt each time. Ok, back to onions. You do not need to brown them up. When they turn pale and look soft, it's time for the next ingredient. This is what we are looking for. Time to add the chicken and remember to scrape out all that goodness. No wasting whenever it comes to Bumbi's recipes. Ok, heat high and stir the chicken frequently till all the water that comes out from the chicken and yogurt dries up. I cannot specify the time here because it will vary. As you can see now, there is mostly oil that is bubbling around and the water has dried up. This is what you need to do. I added a teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder. You can also use paprika if you want to avoid the heat and just a tiny pinch of turmeric powder. You can leave out the turmeric but I feel when all the colors mix together you get this one gorgeous color. And now you are going to add salt. Always salt your meat after all that moisture dries up or else you will be dealing with more water to dry up and it will take a longer time. A good stir and then cover it on medium low heat for 3 minutes. After 3 minutes it's time to add a little less than a cup of hot water. It will have a thick gravy. But if you want more gravy then add a full one whole cup of hot water. Again cover on low heat for 15 minutes if using boneless chicken or 25 to 30 minutes if using chicken with bones. Heat a pan on medium low heat. 2 teaspoons of coriander seeds go in. Stir them continuously till they start becoming a little darker in color. Please do not wait till they turn too dark as then you will be dealing with a bitter curry which nobody wants. See how some of them are starting to get a golden color? When you see that, immediately off heat and transfer them to a plate. If using a mortar and pestle, you can grind them immediately. 
but if using a spice grinder, please wait till the seeds cool down a little bit to prevent your machine from overheating. Ok, back to the chicken. It has become tender. The ground coriander goes in, followed by the star of the show. And then do not forget to add a little water to your blender jar to get all that jar goodness till the last drop. And then finally a little bit of sugar to bring in a balance or no sugar if that's what you want. You must be thinking why not use just plain regular ground coriander? Why take this extra step of roasting it and then adding it? There is a huge difference in flavor when you use freshly roasted ground spices. And whenever you use freshly roasted ground spices, add near to the end of the cooking so that you get that maximum aroma. And guys, do not forget to scrape the sides of the pan because you do not want all that flavor to dry up around the sides instead of getting mixed up with the gravy. Okay, after adding the coriander leaf paste, do not cook for a long time. Cover on again just for 2 minutes and by 2 minutes, it's 2 minutes guys or else the coriander will start losing its beautiful flavor and who wants that? 2 minutes done, lift off. Do a taste test and adjust the seasonings. Then I like squeezing a few drops of fresh lemon or lime juice and immediately switch off heat. Now after doing a taste test, if you feel the curry is already a bit sour, then please do not add lemon juice. Ok guys, I am not done yet. So if you are planning on skipping to the next video, then please hold on because you do not want to miss on this. Pan on medium heat. And then, butter. I love frying a dry red chili in butter. I am not bothered about removing the seeds, but you can definitely remove the seeds before adding to the butter. And then this aromatic goodness gets drizzled on top of the green goodness. That beautiful coriander gravy hugging each piece of chicken with a little note of sourness from the yogurt and fresh lemon along with smoky, buttery goodness from those fried, dry red chilies. Ah, it's like all good things brought together in one bowl. No garam masala powder, nothing. Just a few simple spices and the coriander leaves do the trick for you. Guys, you do not always need a whole line of spices to make a delicious curry. And this recipe proves that. Bye-bye.